Hey everybody, it's Tom for Misty's Meals. Um, today I'm going to be making something kind of simple, <clears throat> um, but really healthy. Um, today I'm going to be uh, baking some mahi fish with some steam um, uh, broccoli. And I'm also steaming some carrots because I'm going to end up cooking those in a, uh, a different pan with uh, honey glaze. It's going to have a little bit of very finely diced onions, honey, and butter. Um, so everything's going to get done in roughly about 10 minutes because the fish, they're not really big, uh, thick pieces of fish. So they're only going to cook about 10 minutes in the oven about on 400. So while everything is steaming a little bit, because you want the carrots to steam for about like eight minutes, maybe not even eight minutes, give or take. Um, cause then you're only going to saute them and mix them in with the with the glaze and really get it nice and coated for a minute or two. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my fish prepped so we can pop it in the oven. And first I'm going to start out with, um, I went ahead and made a couple extra slits on either side and I'm going to brush the fish on both sides with um, a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to put on some of the seasonings that I uh, mixed together earlier. It's uh, some salt, pepper, Old Bay, dill, and herbs to broth. So, or you can use whatever seasons you like, uh, depending on how you like the fish. Um, but it's fun to experiment, you know. You don't want to put a lot of olive oil on this because it's only going to cook for a few minutes. You want just enough to coat it. That way, all of your seasonings can go ahead and, um, you know, really adhere to your fish. So, you're just going to sprinkle some of that on that mixture that you made. You know, nice light coat. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it over. And you can put a little bit more on the opposite side of the fish because once you flip it over, you're not going to flip it over. Either. So go ahead and just you know, brush that down a little light. And I just got it on a small baking dish on top of some tin foil because we're going to close the tin foil together. Okay, so put a little bit more of your seasonings right there. Um, and I'll put the recipe down. In the bottom. Oh, before I forget, please like and subscribe to my page. Um, comment, share, comment, share, comment, share. Um, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. Please, please, thank you. Um, okay, so we have that going now, already on there. So we're gonna go ahead and place our thinly sliced onions. Uh, you don't want them too big. Um, you don't want the onions to be like to overpower your fish because you're also gonna have um, some capers and a couple slices of lemon on each piece of fish. Um, okay, so we got that going right there. Right here, I just have some capers. You can use large or small ones, whatever you want. You don't even have to use capers, but I like capers on my fish. So, okay, and our broccoli and our carrots, they've been steaming for about, I don't know, four minutes now. And this is just about done. We're going to put this in the oven here in a moment. And then you want to put your lemon slices on top of that. And then right here, I have got a couple sticks of un couple sticks. I took a tablespoon of unsalted butter and then I thinly sliced that. So you got a piece per fish. Again, nothing crazy, nothing major. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this baby up. And we're gonna pop this in the oven again for roughly about 10 minutes. And then by the time the fish is done, everything else is gonna be done as well. So we have that in there, same timer, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna let that go and then we're gonna be working on the rest of our stuff. So I will be right back in about four minutes and then I'm gonna get the carrots done. All right, see you in a minute. <clears throat> All right, everybody, I am back. Um, the carrots are done steaming. I went ahead and took them out from underneath where they were, which, ow, Ooh, see, never do that. Which they were underneath the broccoli. So I've got my, the glaze going, which is the two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and I finally diced up roughly about a tablespoon and a half of onion. Um, and I've got that all melted together going, and I put a couple pinches of the seasoning mix that we use for the fish in here with it. Not a lot. You don't want your carrots and your fish to taste exactly alike. So we're going to put the baby carrots in here, and we're going to toss them around for about a minute or so just to get them all nice and coated with the glaze. Um, and then they're going to cook for about for a minute. And while they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
I'm going to pull my fish out because this is only going to take a minute. The fish is done and the broccoli is just about done. So I'm going to let this cook for a moment. I'm going to take my fish out and then everything will be done and that will be another Misty's meal. See you in a moment. Well, all right, my friends, everything is done. Uh, everything cooked. It's all plated. Really gonna work on me. I don't know if you can see the fish. Probably not. Uh, no. But again, I really gotta fix that. Um, but that is another Misty's meal. It is, you know, the baked mahi with onions and capers, uh, the honey glazed uh, carrots and the steamed broccoli. As another healthy Misty's meal. Talk to you soon.